Hi, I'm Peter Birch, and today, guys, my snakes are falling to pieces. Their skin is falling off. So we're going to help them out and fix that today. Welcome to Critter Camp. Well, g'day, guys. We're back again, and yes, it's cold. It is freezing, guys. It's absolutely freezing. So, uh, as always, checking on my outdoor enclosures and the guys that live out here, and especially old Charlie, my old blue tongues, making sure they're absolutely happy with a new investment of those heat pads. These guys absolutely love them. Oh man, I can't believe how much they've changed and how much more vigorous they look living in here. Look at this guy. Oh, they really like getting underneath Underneath there, absolutely loving those heat pads. Thanks again, ZoomEd, absolute champion product, and these guys are gonna love it. So it's absolutely freezing, and as you guys have seen previously in my epic cage build for my rough scale pythons, huge enclosure, a lot of cool stuff in there. But um, as time progresses, we start to notice a few things that need to be fixed. So luckily enough today, I've got Miko here to give me a hand and we're going to get stuck into it. So basically what we're going to do today guys, these rough scales are starting to have a bit of a dry shed so we're going to be putting uh, basically a hanging water bowl up here to increase the humidity and also give them the opportunity to find somewhere to drink because it seems to be that these guys typically don't want to go all the way down to the ground here where Mick is scrounging around looking for a water bowl. And the other thing is when they do head down to the bottom there's really no opportunity for them to heat themselves up and move around. So we're gonna be putting another heat pad down on the ground, allowing them to find some heated area down on the ground, and then being able to move up, vertically up amongst all the branches and all these cool vines and stuff to be able to find some other basking opportunities. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to do a little bit of electrical work, a little bit of uh, rectification stuff, adding a heat pad, adding the uh, water area up the top here, a little water reservoir. So um, let's get stuck into it. Yeah, look at that, all the dry shed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So exactly this, this is what's happening guys, a bit of a dry shed. So we're um, hopefully going to help rectify this problem, making sure this dry shed comes off. And um, we're gonna help these snakes get this dry shed off as well. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. We can stick, stick them in a container with some warm water, um, allowing them to soak it up and then remove that skin and you can put something in there a little bit harder, like a rock, uh, help debris and break that skin up. As you can see, it's not really constricting any areas, vital areas, especially around the tail, which always is a scary part. Just breaks up all over the place because obviously this time of the year we're heading into winter, we want to keep things a little bit warmer and the humidity is a little bit drier than normal. So that's where we end up with some dry, dry sheds. So we've uh, got to be a little bit cautious about that. We can also help remove this just with our hands. Or well, what I typically use is something like a, a rubber thumb that they use for counting money or in the postal system or moving paperwork. Whoops, that could be bad. And um, you can just rub them basically from snout to tail nice and gently and it helps flake that uh, dead old skin off really nice and easy. So um, we're going to help it, this guy out. All right, so what we've done is we've taken off the rock, one of the rocks, and behind the rock is a power point. So inside the rock we have a heat cord, the heat cord plugs into the power point. The power point then runs up to here where we're going to be putting a thermostat. So I haven't been running a thermostat with these heat rocks because the hot rocks only get up to about 45 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that might sound hot to a lot of people, but the reality is the animals can escape and move away from the hot rocks. So they're not, 
being kept on the hot rocks for long periods of time. They can move on and off the rocks, which means they can thermoregulate, which is what they do in nature. Crazy, crazy, right? But that's exactly what they do in nature. So what we're gonna do is put a thermostat on these just to be an overriding system because we're also gonna be putting the heat pad that's going down on the ground as part of the control system. And we just wanna make sure that none of this overheats and may have a small electrical issue somewhere down the track. So that's what we're up to. All right, so we've got the thermostat probe through, snaked it through the wall. It goes through the wall, comes out the back here where the brains of the operation are. Just got to tidy up all this loose mess. Put the rock back on. Yeah. Okay. Power points in. The heat pad, the heat pad's going to go in here. Gonna elevate the heat pad like we did with the blue tongues. Put some timbers underneath just to get it off the ground for now. Uh, that way the snakes can go underneath and on top. And then obviously at some point we're gonna put some sandstone on top of the heat pad to um, give a nice even spread and also make it look really, really cool. So we've got the hot rock back on with the heat cord. Got the power point put in now. Got the additional heat pad down here, the Zoomed heat pad is now connected up, it's in place. Red light is on, which means power is on, which means it's heating up. So we're getting there, gonna do some trial temperatures. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is use this artificial rock. And what we're gonna do is invert it, we'll drill some holes in the back of it and hang it up in the back here like this, like that. So we've got ourselves a water bowl that's up at the top there and hopefully these silly, silly snakes will find the water bowl and drink, get themselves hydrated. Worst case scenario, they've got somewhere where they can go and have a bit of a splash. And um, hopefully we'll build up a little bit of humidity for them. So uh, let's get that done. Righto, the water bowl's in now. It's nice and full and it's time to start putting the animals back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Make sure you give us a like. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching Critic Amp.